Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be going over FIFO page replacement today, which is uh, first in, first out. And uh, I have prepared a reference string here for us um, for this demonstration. Uh, basically, the key here is to pay attention to uh, whichever uh, number has been in the longest, uh, which it, it's almost self-explanatory from the, the name itself, first in, first out. However, um, I find that it's easy to get lost in it and try to uh, apply a most recently used, which is a completely different algorithm for um, handling this scenario. But I will go ahead and demonstrate in this example exactly how the first in, first out page replacement system, or algorithm rather, um, handles the page replacements. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you'll see that the first page fall is actually going to be the 7, and then the 0, and the 1. And the reason they're page falls is because that's because um, they weren't already there. Basically, anytime you add uh, a, a new value into the uh, memory, it's considered a page fall because it wasn't pre existing. Next, we have to add the 2. And what's important here is uh, this is the actual first replacement. And if we just look at the page frames that we have currently, and um, rather than focusing on the reference string itself, uh, if you just look at whichever number has been in there the longest, which is obviously the 7, it's the one that was in first, so it's the one that needs to be replaced here. As we continue on, uh, the next number in the reference string is the 0. And because we already have a 0 inside of our... Uh, memory here. Um, we're going to not do anything there and we're going to move on to the number afterwards which is the 3 and it will in fact be replacing the 0 even though it seems like maybe um, the 1 should be replaced because the 0 just came up. Uh, that would be incorrect and it would be uh, confusing it with the most recently used algorithm that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now uh, we have another zero, and uh, if we look at our page frames, as I mentioned before, uh, if we look at the number that's been in there the longest, which is the one now, since um, the two has only been in there for three frames, um, and the three has only been in there for one frame, the one is the natural next selection to be replaced. So we're going to replace it with the zero. And we continue in this fashion, and since 2 has been in there the longest now, um, we're going to go ahead and replace the 2 with the 4, which is the next number in our reference string. And I'm just going to slowly continue to uh, fill these out, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's uh, at a rather slower pace, so just in case you're trying to keep up along with me here, um, I don't go too far ahead for you, and uh, hopefully this will make sense and uh, you'll be able to easily follow it. So let's just go ahead and continue. And... Alright, we're almost there. And... Here we are. That's all of it. So I do hope you enjoyed the video and that it was informative. And if you have any comments or what have you, go ahead and just go ahead and post that below. And thanks again for watching.